Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday. Welcome to another episode with Functional Fitness, our you know series, Let's Get Moving at Home While We're All Quarantined. So we have Miss Amanda here with us again, and... Marcus Flynn. <laughs> Amanda, um, before we get going this morning, I know some of the days, because we've been on a couple times a week, we've kind of missed chatting just a little bit about um, what functional fitness as mission is, what you guys are all about. Can you just share a little bit of that this morning real quick? Sure. My mission is to make uh, fitness functional functional <laughs> for everyone. Sorry, I can't talk yet this morning. That's all right. Um, That's all right. Coffee. <laughs> Um, but I want to be able to reach um, people with different abilities, people with um, maybe they are not able to afford a gym membership, but I think that fitness is for everyone and all of those things shouldn't matter, that everybody should be able to have the same um, health. Yeah, and opportunities to get healthy, right? Correct, yes. And so um, with us all being at home, and we probably have all have found that we become a little bit more even sedentary than we were before. And if you're in a climate that is not a warm climate right now, which is us in the state of Wisconsin, it's even yeah. harder to find opportunities to get moving. So you can do all of the workouts that we're doing sitting, you can do them standing. Um, Amanda will adapt them while we're doing this. It's just a quick 10 to 15 minutes of fitness fun to get us yeah. going twice a week. Um, and hopefully you guys rewatch the videos and you know do them throughout the week, maybe four times a week or so. So Amanda, with that, are you ready to get going this morning? I am ready. So I have a couple of tools I'm going to use today during, um, this video and of course you know how much I love these water bottles my husband's been making fun of me because he says I use them too much now but they're so handy and everyone has them so I'll have be using these water bottles and I also will be using a um it's a it's a jug of water but you can use like a milk jug this is a little over eight pounds these are about one to two pounds each okay so we're going to start with these and we're going to do just a reach up Okay, and if you're standing, if you're able to stand, you can add a squat, reach, squat, reach, squat, reach. Good. If you're not able to stand, just a, a plain old reach is fine. Good. Use that core, bring that belly button to your spine. Good. Now we're going to add in a one, two punch. Ready, and reach, one, two. Reach, one, two, good. Reach, one, two. Reach, one, two, good. Reach, one, two, good. Reach, one, two, good. It's hard, it's a lot of remembering, right? I feel yeah. like we've been, um, and we're so, early, because you know, a lot of times we do this a little bit later in the morning, it's so. Very early, <laughs> and the baby, did not sleep last night, so my brain is a little foggy this morning. <laughs> One. Okay. We're all kind of living a little bit in the twilight zone. Yes, I agree. One, two, whoops. Okay, good. Now we're gonna hold it here. We're gonna go upper, upper, hook, hook. Upper, upper, hook, hook. Upper, upper, hook, hook. Upper, upper, hook, hook. Upper, upper, hook, hook, good, let's pick it up here, ready, and upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, <laughs> hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, good, keep it going, <laughs> bring those elbows up, good, hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, with five pounds. Woo. I know. <laughs> you get a really good workout. If you can get five pound weights or even fill oh, these water oh. bottles with rocks or sand and bring it up to five pounds, this is a great workout. Hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook. Give me five more. Four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to do some workout. <laughs> We're gonna do some lunges. We're gonna do a front lunge with a lateral raise, okay? So I'm gonna bring, I know you can't really see my feet. Bring one foot forward, and I'm gonna bend my back leg 
and bring my hands straight out to the sides, okay? And then I'm gonna bring that same foot backwards and then bring my hands straight up, okay? So with your arms, you're going out and then up. And with your foot, you're going forward and then back, okay? Now, if you can't stand, that's okay. Bring one leg up, down, leg up, down. Ready? And up, down, up, down. Good. And to make this a little bit more challenging, if you're seated, you can put a weight on your leg and kind of hold it there and just raise that leg up and down. Good. Now me and Marcus are kind of in a squinched area here, so I would not recommend this for social distance <laughs> or for being able to achieve the workout. Um, but for the source that we are using to record this for you guys, it is in a small area. So we just have to do with what we have for the moment, but just know at home, stick this on your iPad, on your phone, and go in you know, your living room or your kitchen where you have more room, not this small area. And don't really put a small person with a tall person in a small room. That doesn't work. <laughs> right. Marcus is a little six foot, and, and I'm about five two, so yeah. Hold them out. Our arm reach is very different. <laughs> Sorry, arms, out. arms out. Hold it out. Hold it. And pulse it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Good. 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now bring them here. And we're going to do 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Good. Punch straight out. Good. Keep it going. Nice. Oh. My arms are tired even from these water bottles. Good. Keep it going. You know what I've been trying to do is throughout the day is even do, keep going, is like, uh, you know, just stop and do 10 squats. You know, stop against the, the counter in the kitchen and do 10, you know, push-ups. You know, if you're not able to stand up, you know, like just reaching during the day and just moving, doing repetitions of 10 all day long. Absolutely. Um, I like to do, hold on, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's grab our big water bottle, or if you have the two weights, you can leave those, or keep those, I'm sorry. Now we're going to go side to side. Side to You know side. what I'm going to bring today on my side to side? My baby shark. Oh. <laughs> it sings, but it's hard for you guys to hear it. Did you hear the baby shark wash your hands song? I did not. Oh my gosh. I'll tag you in it on Facebook. It's the okay. best ever. Wash your hands. Do, 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 do. Wash your hands. Do, 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 do. Who's heard it? If somebody's listening to this, when it's <laughs> up, please drop it below. Let me know that you've heard. So side to side. Five. Side to side. Four. Three. You got it. Two. One. Good. Let's go above our head. Keep those elbows in. Good. Oops. Or a bird just hit my window. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's trying to work out too. Good. Give me a couple more. One more. Good. Bring it down. Good. And press it up. Good. Keep your little shoulders burning. Yeah, baby shark is going for a ride. <laughs> so that's a great way, though, if wow, your kids so are much. home and, um, you know, they're taking a little break from their schoolwork is to have them grab a stuffed animal or something yeah. like that if you don't have weights and have them do this with you. Um, last one. Good. Grab those water bottles. All right, and let's finish it off. Ready? Finish it off. Hook, hook, upper upper ready and hook hook upper upper hook hook upper upper hook hook upper upper let's pick it up ready and hook hook upper upper hook hook upper upper good good keep it going we're almost there Hook, 
upper, upper, hook, hook, upper, 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 we got it for Marcus. Three. <laughs> Two. One. Good. All right. Showing you some workouts from that we do at SeaWorld that I work at. I work at SeaWorld. <laughs> like He's just kidding, kidding with you now. I wanted to add just a few things, Tammy, just to talk about like some of the things that you had brought up during the workout. Um, two things that I, two exercises that I think are super important are um, squats and push-ups, okay? Um, I like to do um, 20 squats at a time, but I'll do them like four times a day. So I'll do 20, 20, 20, you know, at different parts of the day whenever I can fit them in. Because um, that, that works your legs very well. And then a push-up works your entire upper body and your core. So I like to fit in like 10 of those you know, four to five times a day, whatever your fitness level is. And um, a lot of people are afraid of push-ups because they think that you have to go on the ground and you have to go on your toes and that, you know, you, which is not true. There's so many different modifications for a push-up. You can go on the floor on your toes if you're able. You can go on the floor on your knees if you um, can do that. You can also do a push-up against a wall, which is just getting in the proper form against the wall, okay? Mm -hmm. And then moving your feet closer or further away from the wall will make it harder or easier and just use that upper body to push your body up and down. But that is um, a great modification for a push-up. So I encourage you to try and do um, 10 push-ups, whether it's off the wall, on your knees, on the floor, on your toes, however you are able to do them. And if you are in a seated position and you can't do a push-up, taking water bottles and going out and in and bringing those shoulder blades to the spine um, that simulates a push up and bringing that belly button into. So that's another great way to modify that. Um, but do those as many times as you can during the day, depending on what your schedule is. I know life gets crazy, especially now everything's kind of, you know, all over the place, right. but um, those are quick, easy exercises for your whole body. Um, and you can say, if you want to do five of them each time you do them, that's fine too. Whatever fits for you, as long as you do something and you keep moving. Another thing I want to bring up is um, I have five kids, um, so it's always a challenge keeping them active, especially now. We are very lucky that we live in the middle of nowhere on a farm, so they do have the opportunity to go outside and run and play, but because we live in Wisconsin, the weather isn't always permitting. So a great way to keep your kids active is, I know, I think it was last week I brought in the beach ball and we just hit it back and forth to each other, but make sure you wash your hands first. Um, and I always tell people never underestimate the um, calorie burn of a dance party. Turn on some music and just dance. Even for 20 minutes, your kids will love it. It's fun and it gets you moving. So those are like quick, easy ways that you can just stay fit. If you don't have time to do like a workout like this, you can just throw those in throughout your day. Or you can do this and do part of it. If you see something that you really like, you can do, like, let's say you like the punching. You can do that, um, you know, that part of it for maybe a minute and then do five squats. And, you know, you can create your own workouts. Don't be afraid to mix and match. Yes. Because the, the main thing right now is that we do all keep moving. Um, yeah. And I know that we have it where the weather is too cold and kind of yucky outside, where some of our partners and friends in Florida have been telling me it's been like 90 some degrees outside. So they're on the other end of the spectrum, you know, where some of the yeah. activities are too hot. So regardless of anything, we just need to keep moving, keep Absolutely. moving um, during this time. Yes. And the more fun you have with it, mm -hmm. um, the more likely you are to continue it. So if if something I'm doing or showing you guys what you, it's something you don't like, don't feel like you have to do that part. Take that part out and modify like the workout to what you like. If you like dancing, then turn on some music and dance. You don't have to have great dance moves in order to just keep moving, but just have fun with it. And just remember that whatever you're doing is something, okay? Whenever you move, it's something, okay? All right, because baby steps are still movement, no matter yeah. how fast we're going. <laughs> No movement. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thanks so much, Amanda, again, and thanks, Functional Fitness. We will be back on, on Friday, right? This week, it's Friday. Yes. Yes. And I don't remember what day. I think that would be April 3rd. I, I, 
I, I think know. April 3rd is Friday, <laughs> but we could be wrong. Um, so I will post that again so you all can be ready, but just know those videos live on the page. So I'll hop back and watch them. Um, thank you guys all for tuning in today to the On Air Advocate. If you want to know any more about the On Air Advocate's resources, head on over to onairadvocate.com. Also, if you would like to be part of our private um, Facebook community, head up to the top of this page, hit the blue button, and that will let you into our private group. So with that, everybody have a fabulous, fabulous Tuesday. Tuesday. Get Thank moving. You Thank you so much, Amanda. Marcus, Thank can you, you say goodbye? Bye, guys. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye, Amanda. Bye. Bye.